Hi guys, this would be the third method of routing any Android device with one click. So, last two methods will be placed in description down below, so you can refer it from description. So, in this tutorial, we are using iRoot. So, let's first enable the developer option as such that we are doing almost in all Android devices. First, we need to enable the developer option. Then after we need to enable the USB debugging. So after that we need to check out the root access whether our device have root access or not. So enable the USB debugging, verify access USB and other map allocation. This would be the basic process that we know already. So just click on iRoot and download iRoot. So I have placed the link to download iRoot so you can refer it from description and you must install the usb drivers on your device so we already checked mine so it didn't have any root access on my device so while connecting it will take some amount of time so it will be showing them and installing so we need to wait so don't uh, touch your usb cable so there will be installing a daemon file for contacting with your device So this method also not work means you need to try the before two methods we have done already so you can refer it from description I have placed the video link inside the description so they will installing the USB daemon on our device automatically so and it will showing that we will connect it automatically and going to root option so just click on root it will start the routing process so during this it will automatically reboot the device so don't bother about while it will automatically reboot won't harm your device so before routing you need to back up your data and it will routing will void your warranty so be careful while doing this and this would be this method also be a most stable method for routing all kinds of Android devices with one click. So it will take some amount of time to complete the routing process. So we need to be patient. So don't even touch the USB cable. So it will malfunction the device while routing. So You can ask what is the use of routing our device means we can install custom ROMs and we can install the um, uh, we can install the bloatware that will be shipped with stock ROM so now it will be disconnected my device and it will start the rebooting process and now I'm reconnecting the device so we have lots of facilities while routing our device so you can easily upgrade your android and with custom roms so and you can customize you can install the theme so you can uh, uh, control and calibrate your battery levels etc so here we have successfully done the routing process using i wrote that's all guys if this method also not work with your device means you can use the below two methods instead of description so almost this would be easily routed your device if not means you can check out the two methods so now i am checking whether i my device has successfully routed or not using root checker so next we will see while checking root, verifying root means it will be showing not so we I need to um, recheck I need to cancel all the process and then after I, I start the checking using root checker and it will be, have the full access so it will asking issue permissions so that's all guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel 
if you have any doubt so tell in comment section so during the routing process we lots of files will be installed at our device if we if you think it will be helpful means you can use because in mind i didn't need this kind of application so i am gonna install this application so they have installed super cleaner mm. 